Before getting into medical school, I was worried that I wouldn't have any time to have any fun and I'd miss out on my youth because anything like Student Doctor Network or Reddit, that's what they told me. But I can tell you, if you manage your time right, medical school is more than manageable and you can have your cake and eat it too. Here are some time management tips that are gonna help you to do just that. So number one is to plan ahead. You wanna sit down at the beginning of every year or semester and open up your course syllabus. If your school only gives you one course at a time, then do that. If you have all your deadlines available at the beginning, then input all this information into a calendar of your choice. I just use the calendar on my Mac or my iPhone. And what I do is I input all mandatory sessions, whether that's lectures, clinical discussions, hospital visits, what have you. I input all due dates for assignments, exams, research requirements, and everything like that. This is gonna help you keep the big picture organized and prevent you from being blindsided by anything. Now the next thing is to more or less do the same thing, but have a weekly and daily game plan. So every Sunday, I sit down and I plan out the week. You wanna input all your school requirements first and how you're gonna approach lectures and daily studying. Next, you're gonna input other medicine related stuff like extracurriculars, research, shadowing. After that, you're gonna input your personal priorities outside of school. This can be things like exercise, meal prepping, social outings, family time, dates, hobbies, whatever it is. You should be making this weekly plan every Sunday to keep yourself organized. Then every day, take a few minutes at night and review your schedule for the next day so you know how things will go. Add things if you need to and adjust along the way as unforeseen things come up. Over time, this habit's gonna become automatic and you won't really have to think about it that much. By doing things this way, it's gonna save you mental capacity and willpower for more important things. You won't constantly be thinking of what you need to do next, so this is gonna reduce anxiety and free up some time. Now the next point is to wake up early. Nobody likes to leave the pillow in the morning, especially in a cold winter morning, but waking up early even an hour or two before you usually do can change the game. Even if you're not a morning person, your willpower is the highest when you rise. Get up a couple hours earlier than you're used to and review that daily game plan that you made. And then get to work immediately on the most taxing part of that game plan that you really don't feel like doing. As you work through everything, move from tasks that take the most to least amount of willpower. Having a morning routine or a good cup of coffee to look forward to can help you get out of bed sooner. Just do whatever works for you. It's going to be tough at first, but it's well worth it. Waking up early is going to allow you to get more done and save you a ton of time to do what you want. Now the next thing is to use the Pomodoro technique or chunking. Nobody can effectively sit down and study all day. Most of that is just sitting there staring at your screen and not actually doing anything. So what you want to do is work in chunks and take breaks along the way. An example of this is the Pomodoro technique where you work for 25 minutes and then take a break for 5 minutes. You repeat that for 3 cycles and then you take a longer 20 minute break. There's a lot of apps you can use to keep track of time and use this technique. This is a good technique, but I personally prefer something similar called chunking. Chunking is more based on tasks rather than time. For example, instead of doing 25 minutes of work, I'll do two lectures and their flashcards and then take a break. I'll continue to do this throughout the day and use small breaks where I'll listen to music or take a small walk around my apartment or the school depending on where I'm studying. And speaking of breaks, the next point is to take productive breaks. When I take breaks from studying, I try to make them productive. I love music, so I'll throw my headphones in and use that. But while I have the music going, I'll do a small productive task that has nothing to do with school. For example, I'll use a five minute break to wash dishes or put away laundry, make my bed. Small tasks that I have to do anyways at some point, but by using my small breaks to do them, I don't have to do them later during my fun time. The longer breaks, I'll take a lunch break or going to get coffee with my friends or going to the gym or doing a hobby. This allows a natural break between chunks, which is very refreshing. And again, these are things that I was going to do anyways. And then last but not least, you never want to mix work and play. Everything you do, do it with 100% intensity and focus. When it's time to work, just go all in and stay focused. Don't listen to any music or watch a YouTube video on the side with Netflix on in the background. Just give all your attention to what you're doing. 
This is going to allow you to study more efficiently and for better learning while freeing up a ton of time. As soon as you're done working and it's fun time, go all in on that too. Since you've effectively completed your work, there's nothing to worry about and you can just fully be in the moment with your friends and enjoy doing whatever you're doing. Now most of these tips apply to the first two years of medical school where you have a lot more control over your schedule, but many of these ideas can be applied in third and fourth year as well. You can also use these for pre-med or really anywhere as they help with any time management needs. So we hope this helped you guys out. As always, feel free to reach out to us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.